18 Most Bizarre Pieces of Art Number 18. Go to Hell. This painting from the 15th century is one of the most frightening pieces of art at this time, and was created most likely to scare people into becoming more Christian. Scare tactics like this were commonly used by the Catholic Church. Number 17. Portrait of Pope Innocent. This infamous painting by Francis Bacon depicted the Pope screaming on a black background and looks almost like a possessed clown. I'm assuming Francis was a Protestant and wasn't a huge fan of the Pope at the time. Number 16. The Flaying of the Corrupt Judge Sissoms Torture was no joke back in the days. This piece displays a corrupt judge who accepted a bribe in return for an unfair verdict. The king had him flayed as a punishment. In case you're wondering, that means they basically peeled off his skin. You can currently see it at the museum in Bruges, Belgium. Number 15. Creepy Modern Art If you've been to a modern art museum, you probably wonder how some of this stuff makes it on the walls or how it's even in a museum. This eerie piece from South Korea makes our list because it definitely would give me nightmares. These bald woman heads just seem to be staring off in space in different directions. Not exactly sure how they move, but maybe with their long necks they can slither like a snake. Number 14. Bizarre Dog Sculptures Art is meant to give off many different emotions. This group of sculptures in Copenhagen portrays a group of dogs snarling and attacking each other. It was most likely done to show how animals, especially dogs, need to be cared for and not let out into the street. Number 13. Downright Bizarre Here in this sculpture by an Australian named Patricia Piccinini, it portrays a young man next to some human walrus mermaid hybrid. The hybrid is getting quite old, but he seems to be cared for. Number 12. The Black-Eyed Baby Another piece by Patricia displays a black-eyed child elf in a cradle. I don't see how people would pay to go to a museum and see this. Black-eyed children have been a popular urban legend, but the hair on the face kind of rules out that theory. You'll have to ask her. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but I'm not buying this one one bit. Number 11. Modern Art's Purest Form Here we see a well-done portrait of Mr. Hanky the Christmas Poo from South Park. This artist is extremely talented and just needs to take a look in the toilet for her inspiration. Number 10. The Lobster Phone Don't answer the phone, it might give you a little pinch. This piece of art found in the Centre Pompidou in Paris. This one here, however, is quite intriguing. Number 9. 32 Cans of Campbell Soup this famous work of art is displayed in New York Museum of Modern Art by Andy Warhol in 1962, and the title basically sums it up. It consists of 32 canvases and displays each variety of tomato soup at that time. There are quite a few of interpretations on this piece, and you can go look those up for yourself, but the painting was sold for a whopping $11.8 million. Number 8. Diomedes being eaten by horses. Besides being flayed, can you think of another horrible way to die? How about eaten alive by horses? Although horses don't actually eat meat and they are herbivores, that doesn't stop the French water painter Gustave Moreau from using a little imagination of what it would look like. This is actually a scene from the 8th century Labors of Hercules stories where the defeated king was fed to horses. Number 7. Gallowgate Lard What actually was supposed to be a self-portrait of the artist Ken Curry turned out really creepy and looks more like a zombie. Curry wanted to portray a pale, grim, and realistic representation of Scottish working class. Number 6. The Plague the death and destruction caused by the Black Plague created very many bizarre pieces of artwork. As this wave of carnage struck Europe, it was seen as an act of God. In this painting, we see a nun as well as other villagers walking with skeletons as if they were alive. One is carrying a Sith, a common instrument used for farming, but also the Grim Reaper. Number 5. My Bed No, it's not my bed. This piece of art was created by Tracy Amin, a British artist. It was exhibited in the Tate Gallery in 1999 and sold for a whopping £150,000, roughly $220,000 US dollars. This tends to show the intimate details of the artist's life and shows empty liquor bottles, cigarette butts, stained sheets, and a stuffed animal. She basically made a mess and somehow sold it as artwork. Number 4. Everyone I've Ever Slept With In case you were wondering who's ever shared that bed with Tracy, she made that into a piece of art too. I hope you weren't already with someone then got your name blasted on the tent, which is now in a museum. The tent displays 102 names and there's probably a few she forgot. Number 3. The Art Exident A Dutch artist by the name of Hong Hofstra decided it would be artistic to display several large eggs in the middle of the street. People aren't the only ones getting fried in Netherlands, apparently. These 100 foot wide diameter fried eggs is believed to be an artistic fun way to make a point about global warming. Number 2. The Visitor Hopefully your park doesn't have something lurking under the water. This statue made by David Brewer Wheel was featured in the Tratworth House Gardens in the United Kingdom near Sheffield. The sculpture is actually a self-portrait of David's top half of his head and is made out of clay. He claims molding out of clay is really more like painting than sculpting. Number 1. Deterioration of Mind Over Matter This gruesome looking painting of a decaying skull over a devilish looking birdcage from Australian artist Otto Rapp was made in 1973. I believe it depicts how humans are no longer saying what they believe since the tongue is in the cage. The skull rotting shows that as a species we used to be able to say what we like and our thoughts lie helplessly to rot, like in this painting. 